What is the contribution of Hers Tat Bank to risk? To answer, Zhao and David Hers Tat founded the eponymous bank in 1727 in Cologne. The bank had important international connections due to its foreign exchange trading. Iwan Hers Tat, who manifestly knew very little about what was actually going on in his own bank. Early wearing came as early as in 1971 when the bank auditor, Heinz Loff, then criticized Hearst's accounting methods. In 1971 and 1972 indeed, Hearst had, had attracted the attention of the German regulatory and supervisory authorities. Traders had a limit of 25 million DM for open positions. But the bank was heavily trading in Swiss foreign exchange market in the range of 200 and 500 million DM on daily basis. Then in late October 1973 dollar raised and Swiss franc was facing devaluation. Herstat tried to put off losses by making a considerable amount of swap operations. It was on March 22, 1974 that, for the first time, not only Ewan Herstat but also Graf von der Goltz, general representative of the bank, admitted having concluded in fact large foreign exchange transactions. On January 29, 1974, the Directorium, bank's senior most officials, sent a letter to the board members, as well as to the Bundesaufsichtsamt, banking supervisory then in Germany, raising the issue of risks in open foreign exchange exposure. Rest is history and collapse of the bank. Learning is simple overexposure above set limits is always dangerous especially in foreign exchange which is a volatile market.